Hello, welcome to this tutorial for a Jubilee themed centrepiece. This is a completely airfield design, will be perfect for cake tables, parties in marquees, that sort of thing, ready for the Jubilee celebrations. In essence, it's a really simple, very straightforward design. Things that we've, we've covered many times before in the videos. We've got a uh, five balloon cluster in three layers graduating down from around about four and a half inches at the bottom to four to three and a half then just with a standard air filled round foil on the top this one is the anagram union jack um, we want to take this design and just sort of elevate it a little bit um, that would be actually perfect to sell or, or make for jubilee celebrations but we want to add something a little bit more special towards it um, with it being the platinum 70th jubilee celebration we, I would kind of want to soften the, the the blues and the reds on this balloon and make it more more like a, a platinum Union Jack. To achieve this, what we're going to do is take a metallic silver 18-inch Sempertex latex balloon. We need to inflate it first to stretch it. So inflate it big, let the air out. I'm going to give it another uh, stretching as well. So on that second inflation, I can take it a little bit bigger and stretch the latex even more. Because what we're going to do is take our round foil and stuff it into the latex balloon. And very simply, fold the foil in half and I'm just going to roll it reasonably tight into a cigar shape and just fold it in half but leave the tail hanging out the bottom. Next bit can be a bit fiddly, you can do it with the balloon stretching tools if you have a set of those, no problem if not you can just stretch the neck of the balloon, get right down past the neck into the wide part and then slide the foil in whilst leaving our neck out. Roll that neck back, a little bit of shake just to loosen it off a bit and then inflate the latex again. And at this point we can just give it another shake just to try and undo those rolls that we put into the foil. So at this point you can either use an electric machine to inflate the foil inside or a hand pump. I'm just going to hand pump it for now. So what we want to try and do is keep as much air in the inflated latex as possible just so there's room for the foil to grow. Insert your pump into the foil and it can be a bit fiddly if you pinch too many but you need to if you can have a grip on the latex and the foil underneath and you should be able to see through the latex balloon what the balloon's doing inside at this point I'm just going to pop a little bit more air into the latex we're nearly there with the foil just carefully does it once you see that all the seams are nice and wrinkled we should be there we can pop some more air in in a minute anyway so now all I'm going to do is release the neck of the latex, let all the air out and then squeeze the rest of it out to form a nice tight um, shield over the foil. Now you'll notice as well as I was doing that I was kind of pulling the tail down a little bit just so the balloon stays nice and tight inside. So we've still got a little bit of air between the foil and the latex and all we need to do here is just simply holding the balloon between your body and your other arm squeeze the air out and 
And there we go, we've got a really nice softened version of the Union Jack foil, um, which just looks really stunning um, in, in the, the actual light. Um, we've done this with a metallic gold 18 inch latex as well and that gives a more of a vintage kind of vintage tea party kind of look um, because I'm using the Union Jack today doesn't mean so you can't do it on other foils um, change the the, the, the the softness of them um, use any printed foil um, with a metallic silver or gold to give that vintage effect so I'm just going to use the same base as this one um, you could take this one step further, you could double stuff the blue, the, the metallic red and the satin pearl with another metallic silver, so double stuff the latex, silver on the outside and that will soften the whole thing again. So for the purpose of this demonstration I'm just going to remove the foil that we've tied in to the cluster. And then from here we can take a scrap piece of 260. I'm just going to tie off one end, squeeze the air out, tie that one off. And as you'd normally tie around a foil, I'm just going to roll the neck with the latex. Tie it off and then with my two ends, I'm going to bring them into the clusters. Pull the 260 all the way to the bottom cluster. Go around a couple of balloons. And then on this side, so again, pull it nice and tight. And then all to do is finish. Keep it pulled tight, ping it back into the design. And there we go. We can see the difference that has made to the standard foil. It's just really softened it, made it a lot more elegant. And like I say, double stuff these to create that same effect going throughout. There's another final little flourish we can add to this just to finish it off. We've got these little Diamante um, ribbon strips. These come on wide, uh, wide sections. We've just cut down into um, columns of four. And then all we need to do is just a little bit of double sided tape. You really don't need a lot of this about five mil something like that on the back of the sparkly ribbon and all I'm going to do is just follow the uh, red lines I'm going to start come all the way across to find where we need to cut A little piece of tape. Any sort of double sided tape should work fine for this uh, balloon bond. This particular tape is called a toffee tape, it's a medical type of tape, but any kind of double sided tape should work nicely. So just following those lines, we'll stick it on the other side. And now I'm just going to create a piece, top to bottom. So again, just measure up to where I want it. And then all you need to do is just trim the it's like a cotton holding the, the sparkly bits together. Another bit of tape. So again, this isn't 100% necessary. It's just that, that extra little bit of detail to help increase profits and create, create something a bit more special.
and there we have it. Very basic, sort of classic balloon decor design, elevated to something a bit more um, special and worthy for the Jubilee parties.